Welcome back. I'm certainly glad you could join us here today and hopefully we're going to create a fantastic painting. My name's Todd Joss. Let's get started. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll run through all the colours now across the screen so you know what you need to get started at home. What you need first is aluminium red. Get a nice little amount there just on the palette. I think this painting, what we're doing today, it's called the Christmas Eve set in sunsets. So, uh, I'm going to be using a lot of general tones and uh, a lot of blues as well. So what we have here is we have Italian, um, Italian purple. <laughs> what we have here, which I'm going to put right next to the Italian purple, we're going to have the um, burnt Simpson. Just uh, get a little nice little amount on there. We're going to be using a lot of purples. <laughs> oh shit me. Next up on the palette we have a little bit of green. That's called the green tropicana. <laughs> and now what we're gonna have next to the green tropicana, we're gonna go straight in there with a ultraviolet pink. This one's a little bit more slippery than the rest of them. I have that right there. I think we're just about ready to get started. So you may notice that I've had a headache. <laughs> I've not had a headache. I've had a haircut. <laughs> Welcome to the first of the Christmas videos. Basically, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a Christmas themed Bob Ross tutorial. I've already gone wrong because basically, I'm watching the tutorial now, he primed his canvas first. I need, I need the canvas to be basically black, so uh, I don't have time to paint it and have the paint dry, so I'm just gonna use spray paint and basically, hopefully, it's gonna do a good job with it, and then I can start painting properly. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to film this. Do you know why? Do you, do you know this, Charlie, that I've got a degree in fine art? Yeah, I did know that, actually. Yeah, so uh, if you didn't know that at home, I've got bloody fine art, first degree. <laughs> so this should be epic. So uh, let's go straight ahead, prime the canvas with some spray paint, yeah? We don't mess about, look at this. We've got proper Christmas themes going on. What is that? That? What is, yeah. Snow. Snow. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was more Halloweeny than um, Christmassy. Might get a bit stonky in there. And also, if you're doing this at home, <laughs> don't spray inside. And if you do, wear a mask. Or, or a beard. Or a beard, that'll be fine. This is a mess. <laughs> no, it's not. This is sick. Right, done. Bit smelly. Happy with my prime canvas, though. It's already looking like a Christmas Eve night. <laughs> That's my beard laugh, I've never done that before. I just feel like I need to laugh like that because I've got a beard on. <laughs> As you can see, I've covered it in yellow. Um, I think it's about to start. I think it's start. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's about time to start. <laughs> we got there in the end. Um, I think we're going to start with some, some clouds. So uh, my guy, Bob Ross, in the corner here is just painting in the clouds. So I think I need to, need to get, get some tings going. Might have a little bit too much on my brush. Look at that. So happy I primed my canvas. That's just beautiful. My easel is not okay. If I can find um, some of my old paintings, if I can find them, I'll put them on the screen because some of them are quite good and I don't want this to be like, I don't want to be known for this piece of shit. Oh, my guy's already painting in mountain peaks. I've noticed he's using a big old bucket full of um, like paint thinners, so uh, let's just put some in there. Put it all in there. Put a little bit in my brush. Now let's carry on with these clouds, shall we? You see my tongue? Yeah, I can it too. Is that gross? <laughs> that is really gross. Just making sure we've got it. Get all these clouds in here. I like to do the circular motion just because it spreads the paint evenly. Are you feel me? I put a little blue in there with the black. And what's a really good way of mixing the colours together is just hitting them like this. Okay, that's enough of that. This is basically the background for behind the clouds that I'm going to start painting, but what I need to do now is I need to clean my brush. I need to get my one inch brush 
which is this little guy here. Try and figure out where I'm gonna put this cloud. We're gonna have a happy little cloud up here. Just need to figure out where I'm gonna put it, and we're gonna stick with our aluminium blue here, and we're gonna we're gonna just start. Make sure that paint's well in there in between those bristles. Place our little happy little cloud up here like this. That's a nice little place for our happy little cloud, don't you think? Get up in there. Look how happy he is. It's a uh, it's one happy cloud. Let's give the happy cloud some friends, shall we? Let's give him a little friend over here. Friend over here, maybe. Just like that. Now we got a family of happy clouds. There's another one there. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on the Rick Barnes Vlog Ross. So as you can see, I blended in the clouds. Actually, I quickly need to um, wipe off my brush quickly. It slaps off the paint. Bloody perfect, love that. It is helpful to keep a little tissue just so you can get any excess moisture off that guy. The tops of the clouds are where I put the most paint. But what I'm doing is I'm using the base of the cloud to kind of merge in that lovely dark colour that we put in there. One last little slap off. Got clouds, now I think it's time to build us a mountain. I'm going to throw some black in there. As you can notice that I've switched up, I now have a palette knife. I'm going to throw some red in there. It's actually harder than it looks. <laughs> Yes! I'm terrified. I'm actually terrified to do this bit. This is like the make or break of this whole painting, I think. Where's he put it? I think he's put it like here. Oh, I don't know. Right, the moment of truth. Do you want to get close up just to see if we mess this up? Oh, that's well good, mate. Oh my god, you're so good. Oh my god, you're so good at this. You're so good. You're too good at this, mate. You are too good at this. <laughs> what? Oh shit, this is so stressful. I did not think that this would be this stressful. I thought you were an artist. Mate, I don't want to mess it up. I've never used one of these before in my life. Where's he going with this mountain? I need to refer back to this tutorial. <laughs> he started like painting back into the mountain, and I'm like, why? What the hell? Oh, maybe that's the one. This guy has got me stressing out hard. Just waiting to have to put some snow on that boy. Look at him. God, he's, he's good, isn't he? He's <laughs> handsome oh, oh, as well. He's freaking handsome. But he's still... I think I need to go back. Whoa! <laughs> freaking epic! <laughs> mine's, mine's not gonna look like that. What the hell, my bros? What the hell, mate? Look at that. How are you that good? Oh my god, he's just epic, isn't he? Everything about this man is just epic. How have I got blue on there already? Sean's about to hit it with a bit of bit of freestyle. Are you ready? Bob Ross isn't ready for what's about to come. He wishes he was me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sick. Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. It's beginning to look a lot like. Litmus. Everywhere we go. Alright guys, the mountains are done. The painting is looking pretty lit, not gonna lie. Like, I'm actually quite impressed with that. That's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Like, we'll wait, we'll wait to see. But basically, I think it's a good idea to hit some epic montage. We like them, don't we? So let's do a little bang. Right, so we've got our trees in the background. Hope you enjoyed that epic montage. Now it's time to get some snow involved because I don't know if you can remember, it's Christmas. So um, happy with those trees. Now what he's done is he's basically just gone back in with his two inch brush, given it a little clean up. I'm gonna go straight in with the paint on the canvas now because I've made a bit of a mess with my palette. Look, I'm not touching that with white. Look at that. What doing paint and trees does to your palette. So um, yeah, Viollo, go in here, nice and thick with all this snow. 
get it involved, you know what I'm saying? Clean little swooshes under our trees like that. Oh, saucy. I can't remember the last time I painted. Actually, I'll tell you, three or four years ago? Damn, son, this is feeling good. I forgot. I'm gonna give it to my mum for Christmas. <laughs> Classic. Let's just hope she doesn't watch this video, you know? Because then it's just ruined the surprise. Sorry, mum. Still gonna give it to you for Christmas, though. <laughs> That actually looks well good. Look at all that snow. If you know what they say about snow. That's why I'm going to go big. And by big, I mean big. We're painting a big old tree right here. What we're trying to achieve by putting this big old tree in the front here is the illusion of distance. So we need the foreground and the background. Backgrounds, mountains. Foregrounds, big model. Tree, son. Let's just go straight in here. We're, what Bob Ross says is, we're building friends. We're building a big old friend here. See how big he is? Damn, that's a big friend. And what we're also going to do is, what did he call them? Droppy down thingies. We're just going to put some droppy down thingies in here. That's one big tree. You know what that is, Charlie? That is absolute savagery. Savage okay. tree? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See those droppy down thingies? You see those mountains in the background? You know that this tree just made this painting. Guys, we have a finished painting. Well done. Well done, everyone. We got there. Check it out. I added a little cabin. That guy's got a fire going. Had some little smoke going up there. Put some other tiny little trees in the corner there to give it some more depth of fit within the painting. Damn, I'm freaking happy. Check it out. Do a little, I'll do a little pose there. It's like a proud mum. Sorry moment. about that. Guys, on a serious level, I really enjoy doing this. It's good to be back painting again. Please comment down below saying that you uh, want to see me paint something else because this is freaking lit. Look at that. Got a beard on, made a sick painting. I had fun. Hopefully you, hopefully you enjoyed watching it. If you did, give it a like rating with a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Happy Christmas and all that. Looking forward to creating some more Christmas content. Peace, guys. Thanks for checking in.